Multiple myeloma is a fatal malignancy that causes high personal and public health burden. But the current understanding of multiple myeloma etiology is insufficient to provide prevention strategy for general population. So our research team uh, tried to fill in this gap in the literature. We know that multiple myeloma has very poor survival, even after improvements in therapy. Only about half of patients are still alive after five years. So the main result of the finding uh, was that um, the intake of diets with higher inflammatory potential are indicated by one standard deviation increase of empirical dietary inflammatory pattern score was significantly associated with 16% increased risk of multiple myeloma. Uh, intake of diet with higher insulinemic potential indicated by empirical, higher in, empirical dietary indices for insulin resistance and hyperinsulinemia suggested positive associations. Other dietary patterns were not significantly associated with multiple myeloma risk in men. In women, none of the dietary patterns were not significantly associated with multiple myeloma risk. I think for me personally, I was surprised that we didn't see associations for more of the dietary patterns. Um, it, and again, it may just be that the, these patterns are also closely related to body mass index or obesity. And even though we controlled for obesity in the analyses, we may not have been able to disentangle associations of obesity with some of the other dietary effects. Uh, this, like the observed uh, sex difference may be due to chance or uncontrolled uh, confounding um, by unknown risk factors for, for multiple myeloma that vary by sex. Alternatively, um, this may reflect true um, sex differences in physiologic effect of dietary pattern um, on multiple myeloma development. Uh, given that this is uh, the first study uh, on dietary pattern and multiple myeloma risk, our finding um, weren't, um, weren't confirmation uh, in population with larger sample size and greater um, racial ethnic diversity.